Welcome to Design World's How to Calculate series, where you learn how to apply the most important equations for sizing, selecting, and comparing linear motion and motion control product. In this session, sponsored by Dynatect, we'll learn how to calculate the critical speed for ball screws and lead screws. Like any long cylindrical object, a ball or lead screw shaft will naturally bend or sag due to its own weight. When the screw rotates, it tends to vibrate or whip like a jump rope. The speed at which the screw starts to encounter these bending vibrations is known as its critical speed. The critical speed of a ball screw or lead screw depends on the screw's diameter and length as well as the type of end bearings that support the screw shaft. Although the screw length is typically dictated by the application, critical speed can be increased by choosing a more rigid end bearing arrangement which increases the end bearing factor, or by using a larger diameter screw. Note that in the critical speed formula, length is defined as the screw's unsupported length. For ball screws, if the ball nut isn't preloaded, the unsupported length is the distance between the end bearings. If the ball nut is preloaded, the unsupported length is the distance between the ball nut and the least rigid bearing support. Critical speed is based on factors related to the screw shaft, length, diameter, and end bearing arrangement. For ball screws, maximum speed can also be limited by factors related to the ball nut, specifically by the forces imparted on the balls during recirculation. These forces are determined by the mass of the balls and their speed as they travel through the nut, which depends on the ball nut design and the ball return method. The maximum speed due to the ball nut is known as the characteristic speed. Ball nuts with internal ball recirculation paths typically have higher characteristic speeds than ball nuts with external return circuits. Characteristic speed is often referred to as the DN value of the nut, and it's determined by multiplying the nominal diameter of the screw by the maximum allowable rotational speed. DN values are specified by the manufacturer and typically vary between 60,000 millimeters per minute and 150,000 millimeters per minute, depending on the type of ball nut. In ball screw sizing, the DN value can be used to determine the maximum speed of the screw assembly based on the nominal diameter of the screw. However, using the DN value to determine maximum speed may give invalid results for very small or very large diameter screws. In these cases, it's important to check the manufacturer's published maximum speed for the specific ball nut, diameter, and lead. And remember, in most cases, it's the critical speed, not the characteristic speed, that's the limiting factor for ball screws. For more information on ball screws, lead screws, and other linear motion topics, visit LinearMotionTips.com or DesignWorldOnline.com. Thanks for watching.